Hello and welcome to another edition of Minecraft 50th Birthday World, done on the Bedrock Edition Windows 10. As you know, this is also a live stream. If you want to actually see it live, that's in the description. This is also posted on YouTube for those who don't see it live. Anyway, in the last video, we were building Union Station. We're still doing that, but a lot of the work got done. However, before that, Something not so nice happened. It was in the nether, and I stupidly placed a lava bucket in the way that I died and lost a couple of really good tools, which sucks. So I've been letting this uh, XP farm run. I was very lucky. That got a zombie one right here. Nope, that's the skeleton one. Never mind. The zombie one's over here literally next to each other yes uh, pajama is that what it's supposed to mean anyway hello to you too and we're not going to spend too much time doing this I've been doing this off camera we're just gonna go for one more session which is this and then we're gonna head out For anyone wondering why I have this setup where there's four blocks, if they ever decide to put entity cramming in, it gives a chance for a few of the monsters to walk away so I can get a few more cheap thrills in or cheap shots. Anyway, we've done that. Why do I have a feeling this is not running at full potential? It, it is. And it had to be night. And been at it more than three Minecraft days. Which means... Night terrors in the sky. Okay, it is running at its full potential because... It's attempting to sound like a jet engine. There are the night terrors. Made it before they were able to attack. Hello, Thomas Grillo, and Happy Easter weekend, and in this case right now, Good Friday, which wasn't so good off camera. Died twice, once when I was playing on battery power, and right in the middle of a fight, that was when the computer decided to, to uh, put me in the menu and say that you need to plug in your computer, which meant I was killed. In fact, you might have just seen Union Station in the background. Now, when we last did it on camera, there was just barely a shell. The Grand Hall was still unclear, wasn't cleared out, it was still unclear. It's true, it wasn't really cleared out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these six, So we're going to make one of these guys and one of these guys. And this will put in our nether reserve. But we're not going to do much with that right now. Flint. 
Fortune 3. Yeah, I don't know if I want that yet. Sharpness 4. And Fortune 3, because Fortune 3 on a pickaxe makes sense. Unbreaking, that we want. And that's what we get. This pickaxe, that's okay. Now, also remember, we have a special villager for which we are forgetting stuff in which to trade with said villager. Nine, four, two. Two of those. And weird split action there. Two of them. Block of coal. Yeah. All right, we'll go up the we'll go up this staircase. Rarely ever use it. So right here is the house where our mending villager lives. That way you can see there's a lot more Union Station than what there was when we were working on it last on camera. And I put myself in a bad spot. There we go. All right, so two of these and two of them. All right. All right, so we got our two mending books. Now that mending villager is going to stay put. What I'm ultimately going to do is I am going to get a group of other useful villagers and they're going to be inside Union Station that we can trade with in there. Alright, you, 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 and you. That survived, and that survived, and that actually survived, but I don't have any arrows. So what good would that be? And let's see, not the best way to go about it, but that's the way I did. I still have 37 levels. So with that being said... See if I can combine that with something. So it'll actually cost me a little less to do it. Blast protection. Yeah, better than nothing. Somehow it only worked that way. Much cheaper and much more durable. All right, before we head off to our project, we are going to go back to the nether portal and dump off these right here. Hmm, yeah. Okay, something's got to give here. take that out. Put this here and that there. Did I make one for dyes yet? 
Woolen dies. Alright. I say I gotta get finish this up so we don't have to rely on signs. So one of the things I also needed were some more trees. Alright, that's not the way. I'm thinking of Alright. Interesting that it didn't make any noise. Oh, it didn't quite go the way I wanted, but it still came out in the end. Alright, let's see. Hmm. How will I go about this? That's a different tree, but you know what? I might need the wood from both. Okay, that one's not touching, which is important. Yeah, I'll just hand bash it. Why not? So now we need our two... We need... Oh, there's one. Need one more. And there's one more. Don't need any more of those. Also lost my shears, which isn't good. All right. Let's see. It was a disaster. All right, now can I put mending on shears? find out. Let's go up this staircase again. Starting to get a little dark a little fast and must be downstairs. Thank you. Go to bed. Yeah, we'll do the same. Before we head down and attempt it, we'll have a mending book in case. Now we'll sleep here. leave anything special here. Important that the infinity bow is a thing there. As well as that and another one there. And then we got these things. Alright, now I'm not 100% sure if we can, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> Guess we can. Alrighty. Oh, 
I like how the game does the action, but then for some reason reverses it because it thinks I didn't do it. Yet, even though it showed that I did. Like, if I go to my number 8 slot, which... Good enough. And plop a torch down as fast as I select it. For a frame or two, it'll show the torch being blocked, but then it goes away because it wasn't blocked. It's quite interesting. I don't know if I can recreate that. It's very hard. It only happens when I truly need it. And for some reason, they gravitate towards these doors. Another thing I need is dark wood. The one bug in bedrock that I like is if you run as you approach to the water, you'll actually maintain the speed. Now I'm sure there were some damaged trees in here somewhere. There's some damaged ground. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, there's one. Nice run. That's better. I'm gonna be needing some of this as well. Now, one of the things about Union Station is it's going to serve far away things. Things that already have a route that aren't all that far away are not going to be served by it. That village that's far away in that direction, it won't go there because we got we have that uh, ice rail that goes there. So it's kind of pointless. All right, so I think we took care of all the damaged ones. fall. We're not going to spend too much time looking. But we are going to... Yep, clicking. Don't want that. See Union Station sticking out a little bit there. I 
And that village over there is already served by that waterway, so the station will not stop at that. Two for the price of one. Yep, clicking. Yeah, might as well just go for another one. More than half of the day's gone. We're gonna need a lot of this stuff anyway. Definitely take that because we're a little short on those things. So I was trying to grow those. Oh boy, that's touching. I mean, the day's almost over, so I mean, let's, let's grab some more material so we don't have to worry about it for a little longer. down over here. Got the render distance up relatively high. Not that one. make it a little easier to get in and out. It's almost time to call it another day, so... I'll just make a quick run here. Alrighty, time to stop where I said we're going to stop. All 
right, now this road has been completed. Yeah, we'll walk it. This is, as you might remember in the last video, some of it was already laid out. But now we got the whole thing laid out. And we got a sheep up here. Wherever we can get it, let's get it. Anyway, as you can see, it it's a little more complete than when you last saw it. There were a ton of trees here. They're gone. Yeah, the village served by that is not going to be served by the train station. And here it is. And no, not what I wanted. So now the thing is, some of these windows need detailing, some of these windows need windows, and doors need doors. Anyway, we built this hallway, and we now have the skeleton, this is the skeleton of the Grand Hall. This, for the most part, will not be visible when we're done with it and definitely not the roof and over here these two compartments there that one and that one over there as well as that one and that one over there and that one are going to be special villagers that we're going to trade with, those that are important to us. So first thing is first is I'm going to take a couple of these. And we are going to take these, make a bunch of them because we need them. Might have overproduced, doesn't hurt to overproduce. Checking to make sure everything, okay, we're minus one there. So, Start securing the building, more or less. And we don't have... Well, we're going to have to lose one, because we don't have Silk Touch anymore. With it, that model looks screwed up. We'll do something with. Yeah, you know, we don't exactly have this place fully built up yet.
so that's as far as we can get with that right now. And hmm, that can go there for the time being. All right, now to take care of this interior. You notice where there's stone, that's actually where interior is supposed to kind of happen. And then it changes from here. I'm not 100% sure that's the way it really wanted it to go. But, you know what, that's the way it is. I this is what it is at this point.
bring up most of what this immediate part is going to look like. So the final detail is also not quite present yet. So this is where it starts to become a question mark. I'm just going to temporarily put something here so we can see what we're doing. So go up the stairs. where it's going to get interesting. Thomas and I think alike. You should have temporary stuff, temporary structures. This is a village that I have saved a few times and they manage to wind up killing themselves every time. I'm not going to waste my uh, pickaxe getting rid of these floaters.
gross. Do lose them. help us out. So fortunately I can't use a stone cutter to make stairs here, so I'm not even sure if the design I'm gonna go for is gonna even work. Doesn't hurt to try. Entirely wrong. I guess we can get rid of that one too, because it's just going to cause the same problem. And that wound up happening. Come on. 
let's screw it up in. The idea is it's supposed to be supported. Now that actually let it happen. Then go big or go home with this. that bottom piece will be lit. Alright. Hmm, I don't know how that's all going to look. Super dummy! Oh wow, that actually worked. for now. And these guys. So now the question is, when I'm done with this, is this going to look hideous or is this going to look pretty good? I'm trying to mimic an actual building to a degree. in. Thank you. 
where? Okay, we gotta wait. Oh no, 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 no. And I'm, my fingers are off by one key there. Side of some bedrock lighting glitches. How does that look structurally? Might make more sense when we get this part done. This ain't ideal, but it is what it is.
Let's see how this comes out. It's looking a little less than spectacular up there. Might be because of, you know, the limitations of Minecraft and detailing. Again, flip this, then So that looks halfway decent. Yeah, and that way I don't have to guess where the uh, where the column is. I'll just do that. this, which is easy enough. comes this part. Okay, this would be better. wasn't the smartest move, but it worked. Yeah, I think that we can get away with that. Yeah, because it's going to step up one more time and there'll be lights in the ceiling. Yeah, I think that actually works. I think it does. But then again, remember the name of the main show. Watch me suck at Minecraft. That's garbage, so get rid of it. Suddenly, this thing's going like 90 miles an hour. So that's what the skeleton looks like. And that's what it looks like. Uh, so 
Actually, there's a few details missing. Upstairs and fix that problem. Good, it doesn't it doesn't blend in here. It's not as thick as the stone, but important thing here. That'll eventually touch. Let's go down this staircase. I have a feeling what I could probably do maybe knock it a couple back you know, probably take out those corners and then knock those back a little bit I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I'm not sure. Might be all right.
grab them. No. Alright, let's see. Do we have enough? Maybe we do. Okay, grab it. this too tall. I still wonder though. Still wondering if that's a good idea. Ultimately, it comes out. Yeah, actually, there's no way I could achieve some of the things I were going for if I didn't do it the way things were. So, yeah, I'm fine with it. need to do is something like that. Hmm, not much of any of that left. Well, here's one of the places where I were getting some of this stuff. So you can kind of tell.
vein of the stuff that I need. Should get us to where we want. Might not look perfect, but it will look decent. We got a bit of a contrasting style because hey, how else would it work? has to be that way because that's the exterior. Little bit of give and take here. There's going to be something there. Is this is going to be a ceiling. But right now, I want to take care of the windows. These are not going to get windows. It's just that's just a detail. And will there be enough?
Alright, so actually let's look at this again. Perfect number. Eight. So let's see. Right now, we need that. Do that just to make some room. We'll fit that there. So now what we need is going to be a detail going. These windows are going to have details and, of course, windows. Those are going to be windowed up. a certain detail that's not going to be dark oak. And we'll just bash this guy. also is starting to frame in the platforms. That's all it pretty much did was just somewhat frame them in. you like it yeah that little that looks starting to warm up to me the thing is it's just looks a little too uh, too much the same but you can't have slab wool so gotta live with it yeah put all together it doesn't look too bad so now the next thing was and I'm brain farting as we go along We shouldn't have been doing that. Alright, where are these sticking out more than they need to? How about over here? Yeah, 
yeah, break it. Yep, break it. about these bigger trees is they're really hard to get rid of and on bedrock edition even more so because so you go like two or three leaves into the transparency it's no longer transparent so did I successfully cut it down or is it gonna still be floating this one in. I definitely can use some of those saplings. Not those. Those are a dime a dozen. Hoping that this will allow us to build a little more and not have to go and get more treeage. No, don't want to use that. Granted, they have mending on them. I don't want to use that.
we got to a point yet. All right, we don't need this. And I think we got enough for now. So the last time, you got to see me struggle where things were gonna go in this build. Now it's a matter of just getting some, getting things put together. Stairs. They run out. Oh no, I found them. But definitely gonna need more of them, and way more than that. Don't worry about that. Again, hand bash, so I'm not going to waste the axe on that. I guess. Yeah, I gotta admit, after a while, that does warm. I, that I'm definitely warmed up to that. But then again, like I said, since you can't half slab wool, the sameness, it is what it is.
Hmm, there's an aspect of this I have not thought of. Which I need to build this side in order to actually take into consideration. So, with that being said... Yeah, I've definitely started warming up to that, how that looks. See, the train even agrees. Does that need to even be there? Yeah, whatever. Seems to work. direct in front placement like that.
Okay, it did. For some reason it looks different. Looks like it almost never really happened. That's definitely warmed up by me. do is take these eight. And I think I got one more of those hidden. So let's get it so we can have three of those. There. We should have three of those growing. Acceptable. We can we can swing with that. Cause 
there's going to be. There will be. Yeah, that. This is looking. This is looking pretty good. As if I knew how to play this game. That's definitely wrong. Okay, now for the fun part. Alright, we're gonna need these. We're gonna need them. We need those. And not like that. do is mark off where the pillar is that way you don't get into trouble there Black. Thank you, Enderman. Well, something don't add up, but it's not an important thing that doesn't add up.
actually goes like this, like this. Of course I had to put that there. That'll be okay. For this piece. easier parts. seemed a little off. Okay. Now, this guy.
almost finally not quite there Continue with that. Make a few more slabs. That should take care of things. already selected, but that's not what we want right now. one little detail that's been missing. These look like they're just dangling here.
important. Let's see. something this side needs. It needs to look like it's not just floating in space. And now it doesn't look like it's just floating up there. This detail we kind of need this to exist. And I got both sides there. Now for the middle section. So what are we going to do? We're not going to spend a heck of a lot of time doing it, but we're going to just temporarily, let's see, Use the sheep well while we can. Boy, they all disappeared. That's starting to look like something that's 
good. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go to the, we're not going to spend a lot of time at the uh, zombie slash skeleton grinder, but what we need to do is get enough so we can, so we can do some mending repair on that axe. It's looking quite beat up. So I'm going to do is there's something that I need to take care of that will only take about a minute. Then I'll come back and I I see a whole bunch of text on the uh, in the chat. I think it's all one person pretty much, but get a look at that. See if there's anything to respond to, which I'm sure there is. And then we'll just bash whatever whatever came. If it's not much, it's not much. So I'm literally gonna spend a minute doing taking care of something in the background. Which includes this, this, yeah. Put this stuff where I need to put it. A couple of things away. All right, let's take a look at the chat log. What's in here? Okay. Well, the paints might give the windows a little more depth, but the way that the way that was designed, they th if I used panes then the uh, dividers wouldn't look right it's supposed to it's supposed to physically uh, it's supposed to look like this oh you went with a glass box okay oh and for some reason it's deciding that yeah I went the solid glass blocks because like I said the dividers will do their job of dividing the windows Temporary torches. Yeah, and then he mentioned that. Yeah, that look didn't suck, but at first I didn't think it looked all that good. But then after a while, you know what? Good enough. Available. I said Tinker. Some. I I hardly have time to run my own server, and I'm on Craft Theory as well, and I barely have time for it thanks to my work. Although they finally hired enough people, maybe I can actually do this more often. The permanent lighting going up there. Yeah, there's gonna be a uh, there's gonna be something special put up there, and it will be we're gonna actually start on that. And with all that being said, we've now 
say what we need to say. So, whatever, whatever exists back here is whatever we're going to get. And no, we don't want you. did nothing. But I still find it amazing when we're coming down this and I think we came through this. I found that somehow there's areas of these caves that are still not lit and as I stood here AFK I wound up dead so I blocked off that one and I blocked off that one so I still find it amazing that I found this one first the zombies and then I'm walking in this cave that used to exist here and then I found the skeleton one and it's literally in line with each other except the skeleton Spawner is literally just one block lower. Let's see some spawn in. That's your cue. Yeah, sometimes I wonder if these things even work. There it is. I guess it's just funny. Skeleton? Zombie. And I know it works there, and it's guaranteed to work if you're standing on these two blocks. Here, step off. That one's dead. Close enough. And that one dies. Worry about. Okay, that one works there. Kind of strange how it is. Somehow they're dying. And over here, I would take the uh, gold drops and kind of melt them down. Well, it looks like I might have to just do this some other time. It's recovered a little bit, but that's about it. all that is. A little bit. And it's night time. That could be a good thing. Could be a bad thing. Going out of my way. 
All right, that was enough that it bumped up another. Wandering trader thing. Not wandering trader. Well, you get the idea. We can trade with villagers, obviously. Which way on that? Says the sheep. There's a creeper hole that needs work.
that's a bad thing. So we need more of this stuff. Only about halfway there. I think the next episode, if I'm at that point, will be getting the zombie villagers. Grab it. Didn't say I didn't want it. there's a monster. I cut that back.
right, so now we get those sections done. So now, I'll work in reverse. Actually, what we might want to do right now is get rid of this just now. See if any more saplings have fallen. One, two, three, four. Five, seven. Move this even further apart. They're good enough. We don't want to keep doing it too often. That's where I'll put it. I don't think we need this many.
have any easier plans, Jima said. Easier. Yeah, that's... Yeah, this, the uh, upper ceiling will be fairly simple. Alright, did I have more spruce? Yes, I have. Great. So, we'll just use these. I may not have done this the way I wanted. <laughs> Does that come to anyone's surprise? Well, especially can it since it cannot be divisible by two. <laughs> oh, we have ways. And I do it again. screw it up. See where I screwed up is this is supposed to be further that way. Like right there.
hand bash the rest though. That's just too much. So I remember the grand scheme of this design required four of those. this. We remember not to put that there. Yeah, that's more or less about what I was looking for. What it's going to be, you're going to have to uh, probably wait and see for next time. Now to not place the dirt column where strip dark oak log makes sense to place that being that it's going in I want to divide up. I gotta figure out what I want to do.
Oh, yeah, nice uh, forward placement. Supposed to plop a brick down if you plop them in front of you like that. And those will be very temporary. As I said, you'll see why in a future video. It's starting to get a bit late. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. Why is it not working? Perfect number. Then I do that. Oh, we have more. I thought that was it. say very temporary lighting here it'll be made very clear as I said why it will be temporary all right over here
Right, so this side never got the treatment I was going for. And of course, since this is even numbered, <laughs> this didn't quite work out, but that's okay. A little variance never hurts. All I know is I'm going to need a lot more of something else that I've been mining and we'll need to take care of. So, it's getting up. Okay, maybe if I go like this. Starting to look like something. In a matter of time, it'll actually be something. So, next week, possibly, if work allows. Otherwise, as I say, if I can't do it Fridays at 10 due to work, or I'm just too tired, then the first Saturday of the month at 8 Eastern Time, it's Daylight Savings Time as of this recording, so... I can't guarantee anything because of work. So that'll be it. Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.